Oklahoma off the grid Heaven could be close enough to touch If you keep in touch What's going on friends? Welcome back to the channel today. We have something exciting going on. Um, I've hired a crew to come out and set the trusses for me. So I'm going to show you guys as much as that I possibly can. And we're about two and a half, three hours behind because we've been waiting on the sky lift. Um, I'll show it to you guys real quick, but they just got behind on drivers and stuff like that. And finally they just showed up. So I pulled the camera out and I'm going to record this for you guys. So that's what they're going to be lifting the trusses with right there. What well, thing's big, isn't it?
Okay, you can see they're putting, the, they're getting the trusses on. I think they're about five deep in there now. We got about 17 more to go, and uh, we're having issues. They're having issues with this um, crane. You can see it just died. Um, it's a sky track, but it just keeps dying on them, and they don't really know why. I don't know why. Um, I don't know. So they're kind of just dealing with it, starting up. At least it's starting back up each time. Uh oh. Drop my nail gun. I'm gonna go get it for him. Okay, so the nail gun still works. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, they're having trouble with this guy lift. I'm gonna have to go over there and help them lift one of these trusses up. Um, but they're having trouble keeping it started and running. They were three hours late and the machine won't stay running. So I'm gonna have to call the rental company here in a little bit and be like, oh, you gotta make this right somehow. This is crazy. Um, but let me help them set this truss up.
okay so it's the next day i'm going to show you what they got done they're not completely done yet with setting the trusses um, they still have like three more to do and they're going to be coming back tomorrow to finish that and start on the decking that we have right over there so let me walk in i'll show you i never gave you guys like an update i think the last time you've seen us framing the inside of the walls i was hammering one of the walls down but i didn't show you everything we got done um, so now let's do a little walkthrough of everything we got done show you the trusses it looks it looks like a house now guys this is exciting stuff um i'm excited let's take this let's take a look at this so we got a lot of trusses up we're just missing these ones right here so they got all this done in here is making the, it's just making it look way bigger in here it makes it look like a house obviously um once you come in here and see the trusses now we got a really big skylight you guys can see but okay so last time you guys seen um, us was when we were working on putting these walls up over here so we have all the walls up we kind of walked this through for you guys so here's a double glass door this is we'll, we'll be parking we'll be parking right here this will be our general parking area um, the front of the house is over there that way um, but this is the way we'll come into our house walk into the double glass doors and then this is kind of like a little dining area there's also another potential spot over there uh, kind of just what brandy decides to do but here's one bedroom right here it's kind of hard to tell with all the framing and stuff but um with all the braces and all that but that's one bedroom then you come over here and here's the the bathroom the kids bath the guest bath whatever you want to call it um they'll have a double vanity um toilet and then a shower i think me and brandy talked about um doing some cuss i'll do some custom tile work in here for the kids room and then we'll come back or for the kids bathroom and then we'll come over here and here's another bedroom hayden hallie's hopes whatever they'll be sharing um a room one of them two of them will be sharing a room um so it's three bedroom two bath you come in here and here's the master bedroom right here all right and there's lily what's up lil and then we got all ours i kind of walked through that with you guys so that right here let me walk back over here for a second the front door coming in this is the main living room wall that divides the bathrooms and all that and the, and the closets um, this is where the masonry heater will be it'll be right right in this general area right here and we actually made this slab uh, thicker um, like eight inches thick right in this general area um, for that purpose because there's gonna be a lot of weight um, so we'll have the masonry heater and then maybe a TV over here if we want to put a TV up something like that um, that'll be way way down the road but that's this gives you kind of the idea and then you walk over here this is where the, the kitchen island will be that's all the plumbing and stuff for it. But then here's our pantry. It's a really big walk-in pantry. Um, oversized walk-in pantry. <laughs> Lily, what you got in your mouth? What she got? It's a really big walk-in uh, pantry, but we'll have a window right here. And it's kind of just kind of how it turned out. There'll be a window, same size as these other ones. And uh, I'm sure what we'll end up doing is putting a curtain over it, obviously. Um, but I told Brandy before, we could still put shelving in front of that window because really the window serves no purpose for us it's just cosmetic on the outside so it all matches up on the outside um so 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 we don't lose a lot of um, space we can still run our cabinets over that way um, if we want to or not necessarily cabinets but shelving um, that's something that we'll decide later on um, and gabby is in the pantry there's nothing in there yet gabby oh gracie wants some women too so it's really simple layout design that i found on the internet and we just had it modified for our needs made it bigger i think the original plans is like a 1200 foot house this same setup and uh, we just made it bigger to right at right under 2,000 square feet and um it's going to fit our needs perfect i'm excited we were talking about how we're going to do like a rustic bathroom and all that stuff for the kids and um just things that we're thinking ahead of ahead of uh ahead of ourselves but just getting ideas and um, one idea I had, and I think Brandy agrees, and she actually brought this up today, is about uh, milling. We want to incorporate some of our own wood on the property with our sawmill. Uh, so she said we probably should start milling some wood up, um, get it dried out, get it dried so we could actually put this whole wall right here of our own uh, milled lumber off our property. And I thought that was a really good idea. Another thing I was thinking, I even told Brandy this, but we can even... We can even do that wall with it. So you don't want a whole lot of, of the wood, I don't think, because um, we're not just trying to do the whole house in wood. Um, but I'm thinking maybe that wall and then maybe even the pantry right here, the pantry, uh, this wall and that. I think that would look really cool tying the wood in from the kitchen area to the living room. I thought that would be pretty neat. I was thinking about that. I haven't, I haven't talked to Brandy about that, but I think that would be, that would definitely be something we can do. And uh, she's right, we probably should start milling some wood before too long to get it dried out uh, uh, because the masonry heater is going to be coming in March and uh, we kind of need to have that wall done 
um, for the most part, at least where the masonry heater is going to be, because um, once it's there, we can't get behind or anything. So we need to kind of have that um, general area done right there to get it, um, get it installed and all that. So we're not coming back and working um, over it and all that. So, so far, so good. Let's walk out to the front yard and uh, let me show you kind of um, just a view from out there of what the trusses look like. And uh, when they come back tomorrow, I plan on getting my drone up and um, getting some drone footage of them putting a truss or two up. There's only three trusses left, um, putting them up. And then um, I, got, I, I start filming like a time lapse. And I might show you a little bit in this video, but I want to do a complete time lapse of the whole roof being installed um, as far as it goes with the trusses and um, the OSB right there. And I want to kind of put a time lapse for you guys. I think that's, those are pretty cool. Um, let's walk over here and take a look at this. There you go. So that's what they got done so far. And right in here will be the front porch coming off right here. Maybe I'll put a picture up right now to show you guys what the design is, like kind of what we're leaning towards doing on the front. And then also over there on the side, um, it'll be a 20 foot uh, porch coming off 10 feet. It'll be 20 foot wide, 10 feet out. The same porch right here will be on the side of the house too. Um, so it's going to look really, really good. I cannot wait. And I don't know if I ever showed you guys with the side of the house. It's all zip board in now. You can see that now we'll have to figure out since we got the big lift out here maybe we can get them to put some zip board up there i don't know we'll just have to kind of wait and see see how that goes so let me walk over here and show you all the trusses because came, they came in two parts i think i explained this last time um, but some of you guys may have missed it so the trusses it's a 712 pitch so then it being 712 it's, it was too wide um, the trusses were too wide for them to haul on the highway so they actually had to cut like make separate peaks um, for the trusses themselves and I showed you guys unloaded them all that let me show them to you guys kind of explain a little bit better um, exactly what they got to do okay so there's the top of the truss it actually looks pretty cool I, I actually like that like the barn style look on there um, but it just it w if we left it like that there's no slope if we ever did get a lot of snow there'd be a big snow load up there um, so we're not leaving it like that and plus it wouldn't match up with the porches that we're doing so these peaks actually go on top there's one for each truss and they will and i'll show you guys them installing those maybe that's when i'll get my drone out when they're installing those um, but once they get the osb on and make their way up then they'll put the top of the truss on but they got to build their way up it's so tall in there and you'll see the workers in there how tall the trusses are compared to the workers um, so once they build it all the way up and they can put the trust the rest of the trust on top and secure it down how it's supposed to be secured so i actually tried to help as much as i could um, but i really didn't want to get in their way they're a crew they work together every day um, there's kind of a language barrier between us um, i don't speak uh, a lot of spanish i know i know some words and i understand some things um, but as far as communication with them um, it's really not there now a couple of them uh, spoke really good english but for the most part they're speaking um their language or they're speaking spanish amongst each other telling them what to do that's 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 what that's how they do it and uh, so i tried to get in there a little bit to help but i felt like you know i was probably going to get in the way more than anything so i kind of stepped back and let them do their thing they're this is their profession they know what they're doing um and they had enough people here to do it so i was kind of just getting in the way so i kind of like i said i kind of just stepped back and, and, and watched them do a lot of it um, but i did what i could um, and I'm it's looking good. That's looking good. I cannot wait till the decking goes on um, And then we'll have to figure out the the roofing what we're gonna do with the roof and all that and uh, And get our budget in order because this stuff is super expensive I think you guys know that if you guys have just start following our journey um, I'll just give you guys a heads up that we're doing this out of pocket as we get money saved up each stage is when we've had money saved up to be able to afford to do that stage and uh, we haven't taken a loan out on this um, house at all it's all been out of pocket from saving and all that um, so we that's the way we're gonna keep it so this might take longer it will take longer than normal like a normal house if you got a, um, a loan like we did our other house and this ain't gonna be done in six months uh, and it's just, it's just one of them things um, you get, we got to do it as we get the money to do it. So yeah, if you're new here, that's why you might see slow progress at times. You may not see a whole, whole lot getting done and then bam, you might see the trusses getting on, then the roof getting on and then you guys, you know, then, then put the side and whatever you guys, you guys kind of understand. So um, just bear with us and uh, we'll continue to show this progress, the progress of the house build on YouTube, obviously. Um, that's, that's what we do for a living now. And um, I wouldn't change anything. It's, it's been an awesome journey and uh, yeah, I'm, ex I'm excited 
I'm excited to, to get the roof on and get get actually dried in. Um, now the windows, um, I they the windows are in. They're at the um, lumber yard right now. But I kind of just been leaving them there because I don't want to store them here. They got them they got them stored for me over there. And then as soon as the decking goes on, probably next week, um, I'm gonna have them bring the windows out so I can actually start installing the windows myself. And I think we actually have the big glass door order too. It's it's there too. Also, I think we ordered everything. I have to look back at my receipt. Um, so yeah, so within the next week or two, we should have this whole house um, dried in for say, uh, minus maybe a, a spot in the roof on the porch, and we'll discuss that in the future video because um, Randy the carpenter is actually going to be coming over and helping me do the porch. I'm going to be his gopher, and he's going to be one telling me where to do stuff because he's the expert when it comes to that. He knows. I showed him my plans. He says that's, that's not nothing. He can do that. No big deal. You know. So we're going with it. So yeah, it's going to start to come together, guys. Um, porch here, porch there, roof, all that. And uh, I'm, I hope you guys are excited as I am to see the progress. I um, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, stay tuned because um, probably the next video or so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be showing the OSB going on, the rest of the roof, maybe do some sort of time lapse or something like that, like I talked about earlier. And uh, it's going to be pretty cool. So love you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you on the next video.